Uh, so I'll start on that. You know, 52 billion, the government getting involved, TJ. Does industry need its help or should it just sort of forge this problem on its own? To forge this problem on its own, uh, you just told me 52 million. Um, <clears throat> Intel's billion. already said 52 yeah. billion, yes. Intel's already said they've got 100 billion. Uh, uh, TSMC is talking about 105, and Samsung's talking about 200. So, okay, fine. <laughs> you get an extra dollop of money that you can't spend uh, for a couple years because it takes a couple years to build buildings. And in return for that, of course, there will be the strings of things you have to do, new indices you have to watch. I wish the government would get the hell out of the semiconductor industry and stay the hell out. They've never helped. Their efforts in the past have been harmful to the semiconductor industry. Semitech, the last boondoggle like this, was a disaster that everybody agrees says is a problem. Uh, Joe Biden's not going to help anybody doing anything. Uh, just just stop this stuff. It's stupid. OK, stop it. It's stupid. You mentioned Semitech. So, uh, you know, give me a little more sense here, though. Uh, and obviously, I know through the years, having spoken to you, how you feel typically about these issues. But specifically on this, what what is the downside of the government being involved? OK, well, let's let's take Semitech. Last time they got involved, they said, oh, gee, the Japanese are going to overrun us. Didn't happen. We have to help you. Otherwise, they'll do it. Didn't happen. Uh, let's give you a lot of money. So we then we then gave money to the semiconductor industry. They took a government length time hiring a government group of people to build a plant in Austin, Texas. The thing got built on a slow scale. By the time it was ready to go, it was already obsolete because Moore's law in the private economy moves way faster than government speed. Government's not going to keep up with it. They subsidized it for a couple more years. Uh, then they gave it away. Uh, during that time, my company, I was trying to buy a member. One of the things Semitech did that was outright harmful, uh, we were trying to buy, like everybody else, fab equipment, and we were trying to buy an etcher. And I remember my team calling me from, uh, from the company and saying, we're not allowed to look at the most advanced etcher. It's in the back room, and only Semitech members can go look at it. So what Semitech did, they took the money, and then they gave a bunch of contracts to the equipment industry, and they tried to prevent equipment going to everybody else with Semitech members, including uh, independent American semiconductor companies that were unsubsidized, like mine. That this is the stuff that goes on when, when you have the government involved. You read about it every day. If you've read about it for 10 years and you don't believe it, then I'm, I'm, talking, I'm talking to the deaf. But this is not going to help. Because, T.J., why? I mean, if, if we agree that we are too reliant on foreign powers for, semi, for chip supply, is this something you believe the industry can solve on their own in a decent amount of time? Or do you think that maybe the government's going to subsidize this and then we'll wind up with oversupply and it becomes too cyclical? Okay, reasonable question. Um, first of all, the, the, the supposition behind the question is wrong at face value. We have this dumb semiconductor industry doing, going along, not doing the right thing, and now the government's going to come in and help. And if they help, they'll throw money at it. And of course, we all know throw money at anything really makes makes it better. And of course, then they do things like, like, like I just described. It's $52 billion. The companies have a lot of money. They don't need money. Of course, they're not stupid. Somebody walks around and says, here, I got this free check. Uh, you have yet another generation of young Huns in the semiconductor industry. The semiconductor industry by itself has changed the earth. You have more chips in your car today than existed on the face of the earth. Uh, it, 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 you know, when I, when I went to college, okay, that has changed the earth. Moore's law has changed the earth, and it got done by private industry in a free market. Either you believe in free markets and private industry, you don't. If you don't, you go through the platitudes of government help, government intervention, you know, government clearing the way, all, all the government industry partnerships, my favorite. Uh, you go through all of that, all of those uh, illogical discussions and conclude mm -hmm. the government needs to help the poor old semiconductor industry. We don't need help. We don't want help. Stay out of Silicon Valley.